Throwback story time to one of the first times I ever put on a dress. And unfortunately, it's kind of a sad story. I was probably in kindergarten when it happened. We were playing dress up. I immediately was drawn to this dress and I wanted to wear it. So I, without even thinking about it, put on the dress. It was the first time I think there was like an actual dress in my size that I was able to put on. And I was so excited about that. I went to the dress and put it on. I was so happy. I felt like a princess. I remember very clearly, and I was only maybe like, I don't know, five, six years old. Uh, the other thing I remember is a teacher coming up to me and looking at me and saying, you're weird. And that stuck with me for so long. It's till this day, I still can picture it. I can picture her face and I can picture her saying that. And I can hear her voice in my head saying, you're weird. That made me think differently about dressing up for quite a long time and kind of held me back from exploring. And imagine how different my life would have been had that teacher come up to me and said, oh, you look so beautiful or I love this dress on you, or hi, princess. You know, she could have said so many different things that would have been positive instead of saying that I was weird. Because of that, I stayed closeted for a really long time and I was afraid to come out to anybody or tell anybody that I liked to wear dresses and dress up and that I felt more like a woman and felt ashamed of it. And it's, and it's not something that anyone should feel ashamed of because it's not shameful to be a woman. There's no shame in being a woman. But because I was called weird for doing it, I felt ashamed of it and I felt like I was weird. So I'm happy that I am no longer in that place and I've overcome that and I can be myself. And if people call me weird, I don't care. I'm happy and I enjoy being who I am. I enjoy looking beautiful and I enjoy dressing up and wearing makeup and I'm going to continue to do it because I'm happy and now I have people in my life who support me and so I will continue but that's just a message to anybody out there if you do see someone who is struggling with maybe their gender identity just be encouraging don't put them down they're just trying to find themselves and be themselves let people live their lives and spread love instead of hate. Thank you.